and today I'm going to do another unboxing and it's for something I've been excited about and waiting for a while and that's the new On and Off album or Onf or Onp or On and Off. Yeah, their name is kind of hard for me to say. Um, I'm just going to say On and Off. So I've listened to this album already because they're one of my favorite groups so I was following the comeback pretty closely. I got this from a seller on eBay. Um, I'll post which one in the description because I packaged it really well. Oh, I'm so excited to see who I got. My friend got hers already, so I've been jealous. This is a lot of packaging. I kind of maybe it's a little wasteful. Almost. There. Like there's some white thing. Oh, it's a poster. I've only gotten one of their albums before, the We Must Love album. And it was like some of the coolest packaging I've ever gotten, actually. It was done really well, so I'm excited to see this one. Okay, ooh. It looks like this check out the poster. I don't usually get the posters with albums because I don't put them up. I just have like one shiny poster up. Oh nice. But it was only a dollar more and I wanted to do the full unboxing. Oh it's such a nice picture. So it has that like moon um ancient ruins setting that JS is the security guard <laughs> to protect. I put this. I don't know. Over there. Okay. So now time to open the actual album. It's like in a normal CD case, jewel case, because there's a photo book attached to the back. Holographic, slides out, spin off, songs in the back. Oh, interesting. It says Stone Music. Oh, WM Stone Genie. Okay. I was gonna say what happened to WM. Oh, okay, and then it splits into two. Photo book, CD. Let's go to CD first. Pretty standard. Pretty. Yeah. Photo book. I think this is the same picture as the poster, actually. I'm gonna put this down so we can look at it together. Okay, so I'm gonna open it now, see. Who I got. Show again. CD. Photo book. I'm excited to see. There's like. It's like messed up. Oh, that's okay. So I get a photo card. Oh, I got two. Wyatt and Ishan. I feel like Wyatt doesn't really look like himself here. It's interesting. Crazy else. Okay, let's look through. So you have the scene where they're on the moon. Spin off. Nice. Just looking at his earring. Is that a key? JS. JS looks so cool this comeback. Okay. You. Ishan. Quiet. Where was. Oh, was Hyojin first? I was probably distracted. Yeah. 
Here's the stress. Hojin. <laughs> Moon scene. I couldn't really, um, MK astronaut. So for Sukumit swimming, oh, I didn't understand the music video at all, really. I kind of tried, then I kind of gave up. Um, I haven't. It's a good picture. I haven't really been trying to figure out the whole plot of all their MVs. It's too much for me. I'm confused if they're aliens now or they're still androids. I think they're still androids. And there's some kind of time travel involved. Um, yeah, I've kind of given up on trying to figure out the plot of what's going on in these videos. Oh. This color blue is really pretty on him, especially. So my bias was, um, it was Laun, but he's no longer in the group, um, then it is done. It was Hyojin, but I watched them on Weekly Idol recently, and I really like JS and that too, so I think I'm gonna say Hyojin and JS, JS are my biases. FT Weekly. Is that Financial Times? That's funny. Just reading it. Pollen something? See Stronger Case. There's some kind of headline probably about COVID on there or something. It's interesting. So I think I like this blue outfit more than the tan, more than this one, the tan beige. I'm not really into beiges and browns fashion wise, just don't like those colors and like neutrals and stuff, it's just me. But yeah, I like this blue set. They all look really good this comeback. I'm not really as into this outfit either. It's kind of boho. I'm not really into boho stuff. This is cool. This is so interesting, this background. It's like a cool steampunk thing. It seems like one of those VR rigs. Like in this Essence Creed movie, where you can like attach yourself to it and jump around. Oh no, it's broken? Why does this keep happening to me? It's brand new. <sighs> Helen back. Why does this break? I mean, it's fine, I don't really care, but... I know some people this would be very upsetting <laughs> if you're like serious about your collection and stuff. I just, I really like them so, and they haven't had their first win. And I really like this comeback. All their songs are so good, all their comebacks have been great. Um, but I really wanted to get the album and support them. This time especially, because I thought maybe after Road to Kingdom they had more of a chance of winning show like maybe the show or something but i don't think they did which is sad okay let's get to the albums i mean the songs we have sukumbit swimming 
Just the title track, which I really love. Um, Bell Epilogue. Geppetto. Geppetto sounds kind of like a shiny song to me. Good, good. Slash Onoma Hare. Cactus Sunning Jung. Six. Message. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why is this so broken? All that bubble wrap and it's still broken. What is this? Shinsege? Spin-off version? I don't know what this means. Something world, I think. Credits. Anything in here? No. Oh, so this is why it broke? Like this glue kind of came off? I wonder if like it got so hot traveling, the glue melted. That's why. And maybe that's also why this got warped a little bit. Hmm. Oh no, I can't put it back. Okay, cool. So, it's the new on and off album spinoff. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you've listened to the comeback for one. It's really good. And if you're new to On and Off, you should definitely watch um, We Must Love. The performance version is my favorite one of their songs. All of their songs are really good. I think I would say We Must Love is my favorite. And then made a debut On and Off. Then Complete, maybe. I don't know, just watch, watch all their stuff. They're really good and they're really underrated. Give them a chance, they're really good. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.